Lindsey Williams, a chaplain on the Alaska pipeline in the 70s, made friends with many of the ruling elite. He, told the, he was told that the elite considered themselves to be gentlemen and think not informing the general public of their plans is unsportsmanlike. That they need to tell the people so they use news and movies to put forth their fair warning. Okay. Now, does who's the most subtle beast of the field? So, are we expected to see the ruling elite come out on worldwide television and say, there's a media coming? No. Instead, they're going to do it very subtly, because that's the way the beast speaks, okay? Very subtly. This makes them feel empowered to see their victims totally helpless and unable to prevent their own demise after given fair warning. So, have the elite given us fair warning that there is a meteor coming? Have they? I'm going to say, yes, we have been warned. It's called Deep Impact. It came out May 8, 1998. That date's important. Unless a comet can be destroyed before colliding with the Earth, only those allowed to be in shelters will survive. People will, will people su survive? And by the way, the lead actor was Morgan Freeman, a black president. Hmm. Hmm. Is that dating it? And they can't tell the population for fear. The population will go into panic. The world elite then begin to prepare survival underground bunkers. In October 2005, Stephen Dollins was thrust into a global scene when the Lord showed him the Illuminati card game predicted many events of the past and the future and he made the very popular DVD Illuminati game blueprint for world domination. Today there are many websites dedicated to just the Illuminati cards. Do the Illuminati cards speak about a meteor, about a tidal wave? In the early 1990s the Secret Service attempted to stop the distribution of this deck of cards called Illuminati New World Order. Would you believe one of them says that there's going to be a meteor strike and a tidal wave? Two months after the, the deep impact, this came out. The second movie, in the mouth of two or three witnesses. They told us they made two movies about it. This Armageddon, after discovering an asteroid the size of Texas, is going to hit, uh, hit Earth in less than a month. NASA requires a team of deep core drillers to go up into the, this asteroid and drill into it and put a nuclear weapon and explode it and save the Earth. Well, the point is, there's two movies about a meteor hitting the Earth. He was told that the elite consider themselves to be gentlemen and think not informing the general public of their plans is unsportsmanlike. That they need to tell the people, so they use news and movies to put forth their fair warning. Sorry. Clearly, he's leaving us a code. Some way to reach him. A time or a date, maybe? September 23rd? September 23rd. I'm proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23rd, 2015. Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement. The planet also means, very concretely, our very survival. We are, all of you know it, on the edge of a climatic abyss. In fact, we have 500 days to avoid a climate chaos. We have 500 days to avoid a climate chaos. Very important issue, issue of uh, uh, climate change, climate chaos, and we have, I said that we had 500 days to avoid a climate chaos. The French foreign minister said, we have entered in to the 500 days of climate chaos, which takes us to September 24th, 2015. Was he, what's he talking about? Uh, is he, do, I mean, is he talking about something coming from, uh, is there an asteroid cluster on its way? Is there, or is there, maybe not to be a deep impact. Great many changes, and uh, the popular of the Earth will undergo. Uh, a great many changes, but there's really nothing they can do about it. They can wish, hope, and everything else, but it's still, um, it, it's still coming, and uh, it's going to change just about everything. Now, are you referring to that some type of uh, uh, meteorites or some type of uh, asteroid or something is going to affect the Earth approximately 
500 days from now, about the same time he's talking. Now, he made this statement, folks, on May the 13th. 500 days from then is actually September 23rd, uh, or excuse me, September 24th, I believe it is, which is actually the Day of Atonement. And proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23rd, 2015, Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement. I believe the public announcement uh, with the PR individuals was to mitigate um, a catastrophe. There are 500 days left. There's a 500 day window to mitigate it. But most people have agreed it's far too late to mitigate anything. There's nothing we can do. Um, and it's coming anyway. So you're looking at uh, pastors important to let you know that they actually believe in the sixth seal of Revelation. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? They think it could be maybe the sixth seal? Well, the celestial happenings are on their way they're very real and the sixth seal is troublesome but there are massive asteroids orbiting near earth asteroids that would dwarf a modern city asteroids that no matter where they hit would cause global destruction if you hit a large metropolitan area with an iron asteroid a mile across that would be an unimaginable catastrophe for the local area as well as for the world. It would simply obliterate. It would explode with 30,000 megatons of force. More power than the entire nuclear arsenals of all the armies of the world. People at Ground Zero would never know what hit them. Millions would die in the first instant. The air, superheated to 9,000 degrees, would ripple outward hundreds of miles and millions more would perish. An entire metropolitan city would be wiped from the face of the earth. The impact would trigger an Armageddon of worldwide disasters. The initial impact would literally cause the whole planet to shake. Every major fault line could fail. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. First is, a, is an earthquake that, uh, depending on the size and speed of the impact, could be pretty severe, and it would be felt all over the world. Billions of tons of earth, heated white hot, would be hurled into the atmosphere, and then fall back to earth, igniting fires over the entire planet. These secondary impacts would be, there'd be billions of them. They would be all over the world, and they would serve to raise the temperature of the whole atmosphere. If you're outside, you'd be facing temperatures as, as high as an oven set to broil. The first angel sounded his trumpet, and there came hail and fire mixed with blood, and it was hurled down on the earth. A third of the earth was burned up. A third of the trees were burned up, and all the green grass was There'd be ground fires, forest fires all over the planet. Anything that could burn would burn. The intense seismic activity causes volcanoes worldwide to erupt, blasting ash and smoke into a sky already blackened by raging fires. A black cloud forms around the entire planet. This is not a cloud that causes a day to be dull and gray. This would be a cloud that would cut off all sunlight. The day would be black, the night would be black, and it would probably last for a year. For the Lord has a day of vengeance, 
a year of recompense for the cause of Zion. Will not the day of the Lord be darkness, not light? Pitch dark, without a ray of brightness? When he opened the abyss, smoke rose from it, like the smoke from a gigantic furnace. The sun and sky were darkened by the smoke from the abyss. As sunlight is cut off, the temperature drops, and a nuclear winter scenario begins. It would be raining. The rain would be so much laced with nitrous acid, uh, it would be like the mother of all acid rains. Photosynthesis would shut down. Plants wouldn't be able to survive. People and animals that eat plants would not be able to survive. Uh, and creatures that eat plant-eating creatures wouldn't be able to survive. Death would just go right up the food chain. Finally, as the, the sky finally starts to clear, you get a greenhouse effect, which, which slowly builds up the temperature and could last for hundreds of years. So it's just about every environmental disaster you can think of all happening. A number of our guests in the past uh, two or three years and, I, and I'm talking both um, secular guest and religious, uh, ecclesiastical guests from various uh, fields of expertise have indicated that they believe something significant is going to happen in September 2015. Wake up, wake up, wake up. If you do not wake up, I will come like a thief and you will not know at what time I will come to you. I will come like a thief, and you will not know at what time I will come to you. I'm proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23rd, 2015, Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement. We are, all of you know it, on the edge of a climatic abyss. The fifth angel sounded his trumpet, and I saw a star that had fallen from the sky to the earth. The star was given the key to the shaft of the abyss. When he opened the abyss, smoke rose from it like the smoke from a gigantic furnace. The sun and sky were darkened by the smoke from the abyss. We are, all of you know it, on the edge of a climatic abyss. In fact, we have 500 days to avoid a climate chaos. There will be climate chaos in the next, coming up within 500 days, which takes us to September 24th, 2015. Was he, what's he talking about? Uh, is it, I mean, is he talking about something coming from, uh, is there an asteroid cluster on its way? I'm proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23rd, 2015. Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement. 